All right. So uh, my name is Alex Valencia. Um, I'm a mechanical engineer at the University of Arizona. Uh, I know almost pretty much everyone in this chat. I've been involved with SHIP since the spring of 2018. So I was a member at Pima first uh, at their chapter. I was president for a semester and then I transferred over to the U of A. And I'm running to be treasurer of uh, next year's eBoard. So as many of you guys know, uh, next year, or, or I guess you can uh, infer, next year is going to be a difficult year for us. Um, this semester has kind of thrown all of the plans that we had for this semester and next semester into complete disarray. And one of the biggest things is that we don't have as much money as we would have had if we had gone to the regular semester. So one of the big things is uh, Spring Fling. This year, we are really banking on Spring Fling to be able to fund not only banquet, but also events um, upcoming for next year, like especially next semester, like La Familia and Science Day and things like that. So as uh, your treasurer, one of the big things I'm going to work on is really ramping up our ability to and our, our, uh, the amount of fundraisers that we have. So I think last year, Alexis did a really good job, job with the fundraisers. But one of the things that I, I think we can improve on is, and I, we're going to need to improve on, is having more fundraisers, having them more often. And I'm talking like one, once every two weeks. And whether that's just selling tostitos on the, on the side of uh, the engineering building or possibly something bigger, maybe percentage nights, things like that. And that way we can recruit the losses that we would have not, the, the loss that we uh, had from not doing, um, I'm blanking the name of it now, not doing the event that I just mentioned, which I can't remember. Also, one of the big things I also want to work on is sponsorships. So last year we had a couple sponsors, a couple big sponsors. So we had IBM come in for La Familia, which is really good. And they donated stuff and Jesus from IBM and his wife, they really came in clutch. We also had Honeywell come in with the scholarships for um, SHIP to go to national convention. I want to do more of that with more companies in the area. So one of the big things is Caterpillar just moving to the neighborhood. And I know that through a couple of eboard members that I know, we had a couple of things in the works with them to maybe do a tour, maybe them sponsor us, but that kind of, you know, went out of the way because of coronavirus. So I think that another one of my goals is to really work with not only just Caterpillar, but other companies in the area. Um, as mentioned before, there are a lot of companies in the area, maybe not as much as we think of as um, engineering companies that are looking to get involved with clubs at the U of A. And whether that's just they donate their time, they come to talk to us, or if they give us, you know, some cold hard cash that we can spend on good stuff, any of that would be good. Um, my final point is that I know a lot of you know that I am graduating in December of 2020. Um, that uh, maybe it seemed a bit disconcerting. And I just want to let you know that the last thing I want to do is leave ship um, and leave the treasure position in a bit of disarray. So um, I'm going to graduate or I'm hopefully going to graduate if I pass my class in December of 2020. But if I do, or I'm sorry, when I do graduate, I'm going to do one of two things. First, I'm going to lay out an entire plan for the next semester for the financial situation of the club. So that means that how much money we're gonna spend on events, how much money we're gonna raise, and, how, and when do we need to do these events. I'm gonna try and set up as much as I can so that when I do leave, I can hand basically an entire package and a, um, uh, basically a, a to-do list for the ship to keep the, the club sustained. The other thing I'm gonna do is that I'm going to bring another member on board with me to eBoard, not a, an official member, but someone that can shadow me and work with me so, so that when I leave, they can take over the position. Now that's kind of not set in stone and that's gonna depend on how the eboard works, whether that's a general body member or that's one of the event VPs that no one has anything to do, I don't know yet, but I'm gonna make sure that you guys know that there's gonna be somebody that is up to speed, ready to go when I leave to take over the position. Uh, and that's about it. Hey, thank you so much, Alex. And then great points that you brought about and uh, now that Alex finished, we'll bring up the floor for questions for any of you guys to, that have any. So it looks like a few of you have questions, but uh, Alexis, do you have a question? They could go first. <laughs> like who? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. They could go first. Elizabeth could go first. Oh, this is going to go first. Hey, guys, use the participation panel. Don't use your own hand to raise, because I can't see that. Um, so I really like your ideas. Like, we definitely, you're right. We have to ramp up on, you know, the money situation and raise more money. Um, but I was wondering, besides, um, you know, corporate, 
sponsorships and even local fundraisers if you had any idea outside of that like i i, I it's just a question to put out there and if the answer is no it's we're um, just kind of seeing if I don't have really students. anything on that at this time. I think that my big goal for next semester is getting ship up to a financial, you know, basically where we were before, before the Corona rise and hopefully even better than that. That's kind of my big goal. Anything else is up in the air. We definitely can look into that. But my, you know, number one goal is getting ship, uh, basically getting the funds up. So we have the money to do the events uh, in a better way. Would you be willing to co collaborate with other chapters in our region and maybe how they do their fundraising and stuff like that and take ideas from them absolutely i would love to cooperate with other chapters i think that other chapters they they probably have ideas and um you know things that they do in the fundraising that we haven't thought of that would be great for us and i'm sure that we have ideas that they could use so it'd be a great cooperation if we could do that awesome thank you hey alex can you hear me i can hear you yeah alex is your next bro being a treasurer is very demanding um, and it requires a lot of communication with the whole e-board. Um, how have you communicated in your previous teams and um, how did it affect the outcome? So I was president, as, as I mentioned before, I was president of uh, SHIP Pima for a semester before I transferred to um, the U of A. And one of the things I learned is that communication is kind of the linchpin of how things work. So um, a, bit, a little bit about Pima back then is that we only had four e-board members and really, in the end, it was me and the other vice president, or the vice president running the club, uh, Aaron Dana, who's a lot, at a lot of our meetings. And um, basically, we had to communicate on everything. And if we didn't communicate, things kind of fell apart. We had an event where um, it was basically a workshop, and we and her really didn't communicate that well, and it fell apart. And it really wasn't as impactful as it should have been. So from lessons I learned on that is that communicating, um, maybe not every single little move, but knowing, having the rest of the e-board knowing what I'm gonna do and me knowing what they're gonna do is probably the most important thing because the last thing we want is things that happened in the past for SHIP is like, hey, I need a money, new money for this event. We need money for snacks for the academic coordinator. We need money for this or that. And then me coming back and saying, hey, we don't have anything else because it's been earmarked or someone you know, basically saying we need money for this. I put it in there and then I have to take it away at the last second and they're kind of screwed. That's the last thing I wanna do. I wanna make sure that everything is clear and concise and um, ev that everyone knows what's going on with the financial situation. All right, and another question. Um, as a treasurer, everyone is counting on you to run the fundraising committee. Um, how do you see yourself motivating SHIP members to partake in the committee throughout the year? Hmm, that's, that's an interesting thing. I think that um, the biggest thing about the fundra fundraising committee is, I, I think you do a really good job with it with having it at, at, you know, basically whenever anyone kind of can come in. But I think that we should kind of try and maybe do it like, I think we just need to do it at a different time where more people can come to it. Um, I, I really haven't brainstormed on how much that, that uh, how, on what, how to work with the fundraising committee, committee, but it's an important thing. And that's something I'm gonna have to get back to you on and how we can improve in fu the fundra fundraising committee. Uh, thank you, Alex. So we have time for just one more question. Uh, I'll leave it to my left to, to get the last one. Hey, Alex. Uh, just a quick question. I totally agree of getting more money through, like, um, what is it called? Um, oh, my gosh. I lost Monsters? the word. I'm sorry? No, Monsters? no, no. Like, like the Tostito sale, for example. Oh, fundraising. Fundraiser, sorry. Um, but... We, I mean, like you said, there's a lot of things in the works that we don't know if, like, next uh, semester will actually be in person or not like how do you think we could do that like virtual like fundraisers or perhaps having like a ship member fee for the chapter or stuff like that like have you thought about that um so i don't think that we can do a ship member fee i think that's in our bylaws i might be wrong oh. about that but i don't think that we can do a member fee if next semester is all virtual that's going to be a challenge all on its own um, right now, I'm planning for us to go back to school in August or October, which is what they're talking about right now. If it's all virtual, we're going to have two different problems. One, we may not be able to do anything. We may be able to do things like, you know, go fund me's and Zoom events and things like that. But also, if things are not in person, we also aren't going to have to spend as much money on, we may, we may not be able to do a, be able to do some of the events that we do, like Science Day and La Familia. So I don't really have an answer to that because I don't know what the future is. That is something that we're just going to have to take in strides. And 
see how that works out because uh, with the way everything's going right now, you know, everything, you know, basically anything's possible with the future uh, with the whole coronavirus thing. So my hope is that we don't have any, or we don't have, we can go back to school as if it, you know, nothing happened, like, you know, just like a regular semester. If we can't go back to school in person, that's something that we're just going to have to work through. I don't have any solid plans for that at this point, but if that does happen, then you can bet that we're going to work on that, me and the e-board. Okay, thank you. Yeah, great questions, everybody. So yeah, just to, just so it's clear that, well, what I know so far is that funding is going to be tight the following year because all these companies are being affected financially and fiscally. So it's going to be a tough job as treasurer to be able to acquire funding, but we'll try our best to be able to do so. Um, and we'll, we'll, cut it, we'll cut it there for, for Alex. So good job, Alex.